Today I am going to review a horror movie Scream, directors by Matt Bettinelli Olpen. A story about 25 years after the original series of murders in Woodsboro, a new ghost face emerges, and Sidney Prescott must return to uncover the truth. A new killer dons the ghost face mask and begins targeting a group of teenagers to resurrect secrets from the town's deadly past. Of course I have seen the previous Scream movies way before I sat down to watch the 2022 movie Scream from writers James Vanderbilt and Guy Buzik. But I have to be honest, I haven't been much of a fan of the Scream franchise, though I have seen the movie on the account of it being horror movies. So I wasn't really harboring much of any expectations to the 2022 movie. And with good cause because directors Matt Bettinelli Olpen and Tyler Gillett didn't really deliver anything that haven't been seen previously in the numerous Scream movies. Sure, there were new characters in the storyline, but essentially it was just the same old soup boiled on flavorless bones. So if you have seen the previous movies, you have essentially already seen the 2022 movie, Scream, as well. But chances are, that if you are a fan of the franchise, then you certainly will find some greater enjoyment in this 2022 addition to the franchise than I did. If you like my review please subscribe my YouTube channel and hit the bell icon. Share with yours friends. Thanks you. The storyline, while it certainly was watchable, just was too mundane and generic. And it was essentially just the same routine done again, but with new faces. Oh, and with some recurring faces too to reprise that legacy, characters, as they were called in the movie. For a horror movie, then the 2022 movie, Scream, just wasn't outstanding, and it is a movie that quickly will fade from my memory now that I have seen it. But then again, this wasn't a movie that I was particularly looking forward to getting to watch. The acting performances in the movie were good, and that goes for both the new cast and the former Scream stars returning to reprise their characters. I will say that it was most certainly David Arquette that put on the most memorably performance in this movie. Sure, the 2022 Scream movie caters to the fans of the franchise. But for us casual viewers that have seen the previous movies or at least have familiarity with the franchise, then this 2022 movie was just sort of mundane. I am sure that if you are new to the franchise, then the 2022 movie, Scream, is a good movie. I have to say that, for me personally, then, Scream, felt like a fully and wholly unnecessary movie. My rating of, Scream, lands on a mediocre 5 out of 10 stars. Thanks for watching take care.